A major key to prevent the spread of the coronavirus is to wear a face covering in public. But is that putting you at risk? Our Verify team got the answer. The goal of the Verify team is to separate fact from fiction, and there's a lot of misinformation to avoid when it comes to the coronavirus. Including claims like this, shared thousands of times, saying wearing a mask will weaken your immune system and lead you to getting sick. So let's verify, does wearing a mask weaken your immune system? Our top sources are the CDC, the Mayo Clinic, and Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. We know one of the main reasons the CDC has recommended everyone wear masks is because of asymptomatic cases. Even if you don't think you're sick and aren't showing symptoms, health experts say wearing a mask is an important tool against COVID-19. Importantly, I think what people don't fully appreciate is that putting a mask on yourself is more to prevent you from infecting someone else. And if everybody does that, we're each protecting each other. After initially saying only healthcare workers and those who are sick should wear masks, the CDC revised their guidelines, saying they should be worn in community settings while also staying six feet apart from others. The Mayo Clinic also advises similarly, saying routinely washing your hands, avoid touching your face, and properly maintain whatever mask you're wearing. Neither mentions anything about a reduced ability to fight other infection. Those supporting this claim say because the mask keeps you from being exposed to things like bacteria, that will weaken your immune system. But experts say, remember, that bacteria comes from food, water, and our environment everywhere. Millions of microbes will still get into our systems one way or the other meaning our immune systems are constantly operating with or without a mask. So we can verify, no, research does not support the idea that wearing a mask will weaken your immune system and make you more vulnerable to the coronavirus. And there you have it. Of course, keep your questions coming. Email us at verify at or you can also reach out on Facebook or Twitter.